So I think basically a few things, a few lessons to take out of that. First of all, the transformative quality of good old vines, that they can transform the reputation, the vocation of a grape and a region. No one in a million years expected anything great to come out of La Mancha. Guess what? It can. If you work with respect and with a kind of conviction, we, we're losing them. But actually, as came out of the questioning, and especially the, the question from Rafa, is that actually it's completely possible to integrate these into a successful business model. Right. It just takes the creativity and the will. And yeah. there are rewards. We can't, we can't yeah. hear from Rafa, can we? But it's very interesting that, that they've selected vineyard parcels that they're doing as Viñeda Singulares. And, and he said that the pride in the, in the growers who've been taking their grapes to the cooperatives is transformative. These old guys who are sometimes in their 80s still want to get out there and make sure their wine is the best in the co-op. Rafa, if you have, uh, let's give this two minutes. Come on, we're all here. Rafa, if you'd like to say something, I've, uh, I've switched on your ability to, to, to chat. Sorry, I've put you on the spot there, Rafa, but if you'd like to say something, now's your moment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's fine. You know, he may be like racking or something. <laughs> okay. Right. Never mind, right. but we... Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, so... thank you very much for having me, uh, giving voice to my region. And, <laughs> and us in this wonderful organized conference. Thank you very much, team, Sarah and all the team. Thank you. Okay, fantastic.